What is going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach. Today we are playing another Inquisitor deck, but I keep seeing this deck and people talking about Inquisitor Hex, which I still think, I don't think I put a video out with Inquisitor Hex yet, but everybody's talking about how Inquisitor Hex is really, really strong right now, and I don't understand it. I feel like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I know that Inquisitor does splash damage, so splash damage troops can work pretty well. Let's hit this guy with a good luck and, uh, and a mallard. I know sp splash damage does pretty good for uh, Hex, but I don't know, dude. It's not like Inquisitor is a chain. It's not like it's hitting a bunch of it's hitting a bunch of units, but not a bunch of units. I don't know. Um, I also have Frost in here, which I usually use Cold Mage. But the deck I saw this guy running with Inquis and Hex had Cold Mage. I had uh, Frost in there rather. So let's just do the deck as it is and see how it goes, man. Let's try to shed some light on on Inquis and Hex and Frost. You know? Oh, is this a this is an entirely legendary deck? So if you guys didn't see my last video, ew, my goodness, look at all this. Okay, uh, I'll just do this for right now rather than getting myself in danger. We did a spotlight on an individual legendary, or maybe it was two videos ago now, but basically, you know, whenever I put those free-to-play decks out, I understand that a lot of you guys do have legendaries, but most of you don't have all the legendaries that make all these decks. So I'm trying to put out a series of lone legendaries to where you can put decks together only using one legendary in their deck. Obviously, this one is a little bit different because we are using all legendaries. But uh, but hey, we're trying to find the best deck for right now. And actually, Cold Mage in Quiz, just regular Cold Mage in Quiz with Harlequin, Summoner, and Mime is actually really strong right now, which is super weird to me. Let's spam. Oops, that's not the way I wanted to go. go did i get it no i don't know if i did Ah, right, we should be able to take it out that's the one thing that's really nice about frost or cold mage or whatever is that um i don't even know what happened okay we took it out is that you just have so much time to take out these units that uh let's do that i'll come over here i guess do this we'll do that Hmm. Let's go there. Alrighty. And our board looks okay. We've got three rank threes and one rank two in quizzes. But our hexes aren't very leveled up or nice nice or anything like that. But not the end of the world. So let's just keep on going here. He's doing the he's doing the exact same deck as me, except he's got priestess instead of summoner and Bombardier instead of Hex. So for right now, we're pretty much just an Inquis Cold Mage deck because our Hex isn't really doing much. We can start leveling them up a bit, but it's not going to do too, too much just because we don't have that high ranking of a Hex. We actually got another rank 3 Harlequin if we need to, so... I'm going to try and, try and spam my board at some point, and hopefully I can get some nice high-ranking hexes. They're all kind of like bunched up, you know, you just got four in a, in a little square right there, so it's a little bit interesting. But let's build up our mana for, for Gorgon, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So, we're chilling. We are definitely chilling. Five seconds. Let me know how you guys ended up in Rush for Glory. How'd you do? Did you do better than last time? Did you get anything good in rewards? I think tomorrow's video or the video after, I will, uh, I'll put out how I did. I, I already put out specifically my games, but I haven't opened up my rewards as of yet. So I'll definitely put those out for you guys just to check them out. Uh, let's see if he can actually get some in quizzes frozen because right now he's lucking out. 220, nah, it's not going to hit any in quizzes, so he's lucking out here. Good for him. Um, let's try and spam a little bit. Alright, that actually did help us, like, a decent amount, I'm not going to lie. 
So let's get our hex up one more time. Now at least we have a hex connected to a rank two, and, and we we already had a hex connected to that rank three, but they're only rank one hexes, so a little bit useless. Man, hit the bombardier. Holy smokes. I didn't even think of it, but he's doing double slow. He's got bombardier and frost. So if this goes late game, he's going to have the advantage, right? Because he's going to be... Um, He's going to be slowing him down far more than me. Hopefully we can do more damage than him. So we don't have to get into a battle of who's slowing things down more. Let's get our Frost up to max. We do have Bedlam coming up once again. And I feel pretty good about that because we've got a bunch of rank 3s. we got some rank 2s, rank 1s. So we should be able to combine out relatively with ease. And, uh, and Bedlam shouldn't hit us too hard. So right now we're definitely... Putting out more damage than him. Here comes Bannerlord. No, one of the number one reasons people use Hex right now is because it's good against Bannerlord. Because you're not using Grindstone with critical damage. And you can take out all the minions around Bannerlord, at, Bannerlord as you go. So clearly he's not going to lose right now. But he might have a, a tough time against Bedlam, but again, he's got Frost and he's got Bombardier, so he's going to be slowing Bedlam down a lot. He might be able to just take it out because it's just going to take a long time. So, let's see what we can do. we got five seconds. We're trying to take out this mini boss. They're getting around. The further that they get on his board, the better spot we're going to be in going up against... Uh, well, just going up against him in general. So, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to do this. Alright, let's just try and get ourselves... Oh my goodness, that took a while. Okay, so he's got to go through 2.4. I'm pretty much just going to keep doing this. Oh my gosh, we're actually taking it out. Let's try and take it out. Take it out, take it out. I didn't realize we were doing so much. 200 to go through. I'll slow it down if I need to. Let's hit it one time. Um... Oh, we took a hit, man. Ah, but he's gonna he's definitely gonna take a hit. So this is gonna be a GG good game. And not a super exciting game, to be perfectly honest, because we didn't really get our hexes going as much as we liked. But between Inquiz and Frost, which Frost helped us a lot right there. I definitely think we could have taken out that bedlam, but I, I didn't really play it all that well. Um, but between those two cards, we did really, really well. So that is a victory. The first victory of the day right there. Have 1,300 mana at once in one battle. There is a challenge. You like to see it. Love to check off challenges as you go. And let's jump into another another game. Let's see how we do. So he was running a little bit of a strange deck. Granted. And here we go. We're going up against uh, Broken Tusk, Shaman Spam. Oh, Engineer Shaman Spam. So definitely going to be a tough game. Because Shaman's really tough. And Engineer, actually this deck... Uh oh let's see what he does here. Guess I'll do that for right now. Is he going to spam me or nah? Combine out hexes. All right. We haven't found an Inquiz yet, but let's take this guy out. See, there we go. We got an Inquiz, so we're alive. Try to build up some of our mana here. Our Snowflake actually helps us out a lot because it freezes his units periodically when he merges and does things. So it kind of it makes it more troublesome for him to just merge out and spam me quicker because it takes some time for him to actually be able to use that unit. So that's really good. That's not really good. Let's do that. Okay. Uh-oh. Come on. Give me an Inquiz. Oh, baby. Please. Please. Okay. We should be okay. Let's try and get him all the way back to our board. I know I could use my Snowflake. But let's try to get him all the way back to our portal. And I'm going to just really try and build up my mana right there to... To be able to spam if he does hit me again. Because I really want to combine out. I don't want to just let him steal one of my Inquizzes. I'd rather combine out even if that means losing two. Because I'm not actually losing anything. 
rather than if he's just taking away one in quiz, I did actually lose that. Does that make sense to you guys? So here we go. Doing pretty good here. He's got a million priestesses. Here's a shaman. He's hitting one of my hexes. Not the end of the world. We don't have any frosts. But I'll be able to spam him after... Yeah, come on. I'll do that. Okay, let's keep on trying to spam here. Okay, we don't have anything we can spam. Man. We're out of mana. Don't know if we're going to be able to take this guy out. Uh, let's do this and this. Okay, can't do anything there. I guess I'll do that just to... Man. Oh, we are going to take him out. Oh, and he switched us around. That was actually really good for us. Okay, so... We don't have any mana right now. So let's try and build it up, even though we've got a bunch of summoners that we can use. Let's try and get our Inquis one time. We don't have any Frost on our map. But as soon as he spams us, I can try and combine out a little bit. Let's do that. Okay, so let's do that. Okay. Still going pretty good. He's got his um, engineers lined up now. We still have n a, not a single Frost on our board. Let's try and get our hex up a little bit because it isn't as a, it actually isn't a good spot. And we are going up against Puppeteer as well, so that's something to note. Not ideal right there. He's going to come at me with another Shaman. Okay, let's do this. And we should be okay. 30 seconds. Let's try and level up our Inquis. To, actually, let's just get our Hex up one, one time. And maybe we can start working back towards the beginning of my portal and keeping the pressure on him. Because his board is pretty good, but it's not amazing, you know? So 15 seconds. Let's build up our mana. We do have Puppeteer, so it's going to hit us pretty hard. But it's going to hit him pretty hard as well. So he's gonna he's definitely going to take out Puppeteer quicker than we are. But we're going to be slowing it down, so let's try to make our board look even better. Let's try to make our board look as good as possible without losing a ton of mana here. So it's down below 300. Let's start merging a bit here. Hmm. All right, so what do we got? We've got this, oops, we'll do this. Oh my gosh, hmm. Well, this is gonna be problematic. I gotta combine out in quizzes, but it's gonna be ugly. I better get another in quiz. Um, we can take it out, come on, take it out. All right, we did take it out. We've got one unit that we can spam on the board, and we better hope it's in quiz. Oh, um, my goodness. We need another in quiz. We're going to be slowing him down a lot, but we have no damage. I think we, I think we lost, fellas. I think we lost. We do have a hex trying to help out here. Come on, boy. One in quiz and we're okay. Dude. Bro. Unbelievable. He's laughing at me. I'm not even going to hit that one because there's no chance I'm going to take it out. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, he's laughing at me. Broken Tusk with the BM. Come on, man. Really? You're really going to BM me when you're running Shaman Spam? Are you really going to do that right now? All right, cool. All right, cool, dude. You made it in the video as a BMer. Nice work, man. Nice work.
that was really, really unfortunate. Uh, we definitely had it. We just couldn't find it in quiz for the for the life of us. We combined out, we combined out, combined out. And that's the biggest problem with, oh, here we go. So we're running the same deck. Oh, he's got a Bombardier instead of Summoner, though. But, uh, uh-oh. Really? Oh, my gosh, dude. He got four Inquisitors. I got four Hexes. Holy smokes. All right, let's try and turn this around. Turn this luck around. We just need one Inquis and we're okay. There we go. But yeah, GG, whatever your name was. I forget what it was. Um, good game, man. That was close. It was close. We were coming back a little bit. Let's get our Inquis up one time. Let's try to build up our mana. He's got Bombardier rather than Summoner, which I know I already said. But it's gonna that's going to be the whole difference. So he's doing double slow as well. I feel like double slow, I was running that a little bit like a couple months ago. Maybe it's coming back into the meta. It'd be interesting to see if that's actually coming back into the meta to where it's almost, it's just kind of hard to set up. If you're always going to play for the late game, it's tough to get to the late game. So if you're going up against Shaman Spam or an Engineer deck or something that's putting out damage really, really, like keeping the pressure on really, really early, it's going to be tough for you to, uh, to hold in there and make it to that late game. But... Hey, if it works, it works. So we don't have any frosts. Let's get our Inquis up one time. He's already got to nine. He's got too many Inquises. How many does he have? One, two, three, four, nine, ten. Now he's got eight. Now he's got nine. Come on. Oh, he's going back down to four. Yeah, it's actually kind of smart for him to go back down to four. There you go. Now you get enough. 16 seconds, going up against Bedlam. You guys know I like Bedlam, so I'm going to spam my board a little bit. And as long as we have a couple of Frosts, we should be okay to take out uh, take out the boss. Okay, so let's spam here. Here we go. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Alrighty. Oh, uh, not a single summoner? Find a summoner. Dang, man. No summoners. Got a bunch of frosts, though. Okay, there we go. Still slowing everybody down crazy. Um, I'll keep going a little bit. Let's go up here. And I'll go over here. Am I doing it again, fellas? Hmm. Here we go. So, our hexes are in super weird spots. But our frosts are looking nice, and our inquisitors are looking pretty nice. He's got all rank twos. I got two rank threes and, a rank, and two rank twos. We got Bedlam again. So again, not a bad thing at all. Let's try to max out our inquis first. And then we'll start working towards a couple of hexes and frost upgrades. But like I said, we've only got this one hex here connected to an inquiz. Oh, I could actually do this. Let's do this for right now. And then uh, that'll actually probably help us out in this wave and I'll get frost up. I feel bad because we've got some nice high ranking frosts. And I don't want to neglect them uh, by upgrading hexes first, even though we had way more high ranking frosts. We're gonna get to we're gonna get frost to level four right there, and now we're chilling. That's the last thing we're gonna do. Oh, he's spamming his board, risky boy, risky, risky, risky. Oh, and see, look, I froze his units with my snowflake. I mean, it wasn't me, but it's just my hero doing work. And my goodness, it makes it really tough. And they're getting to the end of his board, dude. Um, so I'm pretty certain he's gonna take a hit from Bedlam, but we gotta make sure that we get our board looking good again. Um, after Bedlam makes all our switches. So let's really try and focus on that. I could have frozen with Snowflake because our board is, is so nice. Maybe it would have been better that way, but nah. Okay. Um, again, that would have been pretty good right there. But uh, we should be fine. So let's do this. I'm going to do that. That. These. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Um, I guess I'll just do this. None of them are touching hexes, so. We got to nine. He's got 700 to go through. Oh, he doesn't even have Bombardier. I've been saying Bombardier this whole time. He's got Thunderer in his deck. I actually ran this deck a little bit too. Um, I don't know if I ever put a video out. I might have tried and it wasn't really working out. But look at his board, dude. He's got all rank threes. Now he's got a rank four hex in a great spot. Now it's, I mean, a rank four hex with a two rank three inquisitors is phenomenal. That's really, really good. But he also noticed he doesn't have any slow. He's got no frost on his board. Um, and I have nine versus his four and a thunderer. So I think we're in pretty good shape. We also didn't take a hit. He took a hit, as you guys saw. We've got three pretty nice high-ranking uh, Frost. And hey, I'm kind of a believer. All right, this deck, I was very, very... I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't sold on this deck. But you know what? It's actually working out pretty well. And other than that loss that we just had to where I'm pretty sure we were in great shape and I just couldn't find the right Inquiz. And we would have won if I could have found an Inquiz there. Um, but I think this deck is legit. Try it out if you have these cards. I know they're all legendaries, which is a little bit unfortunate. He's, we're also going up against Gorgon next, which is just brutal for him. That's the last one he wanted to see. If, he, if we were going up against Tamer, we'd probably go through another boss. 12 seconds. He's hanging in there for, like, so well, dude. He's putting in work right now. Um, but I think Gorgon's going to be really tough. And honestly, if he had Bombardier, he'd be in better shape. That was actually really good for him, though. Spamming out a couple of those and didn't find any in quizzes. That was really good for him. So let's make sure we take him out. He's got to go through 1.7. Now 1.6. We haven't fro oh, we froze one of his in quizzes. All right, so we took it out. This is going to be a GG. Good game, man. That's a fun deck to play that he's running. I think... Um, I think replacing Thunderer will do the trick. Let's hit him with a Frost <laughs> or a Snowflake. And right there, that is a victory. He's up over 5,000 as well. I'm only at 5,200, but we're doing a little bit of pushing. We're doing a little bit of pushing. I'm actually going to, I'll probably open up all my chests or packs at some point. Let's check out the statistics right there. Our Hex did do 4 million damage. And it's actually, it's a really important thing to note that like the first two waves... Hex almost does zero damage because A, I don't level them up, and if I don't level them up, they don't really do much. So that 4 million damage was mainly from the last half of the game. So it's just something to note. His Hex actually did more damage than his Inquisitor. Really, really interesting. And then his Thunderer just didn't do all that much. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.